All right, guys, my table's a little crowded today. We're gonna talk about, let me tell you guys what happened. I'm super excited. So um, last week I did the Model 1 story time and I did a little mini nail art giveaway in there. Nothing fancy, just some nail art stuff. Um, and the winner was nailed by Shay. Now, <laughs> Shay is a legit nail tech, so kind of flattered that she was watching me in the first place. And I felt kind of silly about sending her nail stuff because she's got like a whole home salon. But then, she sent me a package back and let me just say I almost cried when I opened this. So let me show you. There was a bunch of different things that she wanted me to try. Um, some nail nail stuff, some glitter bell stuff, some young nail stuff. Let me just show you some of what's in here. Like, cause I've been wanting to try nail nails forever. So she sent me some stuff to try, some Koopa, some profiles backstage, the young nails foils, like, when I tell you I almost cried, I legitimately almost cried. Then she tagged me in a video um, for me to do the 21 products thing, but this is something that I've been dying to try, but I hadn't quite taken the plunge yet that she sent me. It is the entire Glitter Bell starter kit. Guys, I squealed like a pig. Let me tell you. <laughs> so I did... So I'm going to review these today. I did already swatch them. I, I, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do, but I was so excited I went ahead and swatched them and I almost died. It is amazing. But I'm gonna let you guys watch while I go through it um, because after I started swatching them, I'm like, no, 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 I gotta wait. I gotta do it on camera so you guys can see. But I haven't I didn't try the monomer yet and can I just say this is the cutest freaking thing ever the little metal bottle um, it does help keep the smell in it doesn't spill and then the starter kit comes with uh, the dehydrator and primer um, free and these bottles are <laughs> like I feel so fancy the gold and the black and they're super heavy like just the packaging is the quality is amazing this is like display worthy stuff so, like, the jars are gorgeous. Even this bottle is freaking gorgeous. And this is the clear monomer. I've heard really good things, but we're gonna try it all on camera. I haven't opened that yet. So we're gonna try it all on camera. We're gonna swatch it. We're gonna review it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna love it. Anyway, <clears throat> so special thank you to Nails by Shay. Like, she is, she's been such awesome support. She's always like the first person to comment on my videos. She's always the first person to watch them. Like, this is what I love about the YouTube community. I know that support when you're trying to get going in social media with nails can be kind of backstabby and catty sometimes. And that's, you know, it happens. But I found that the YouTube community has been amazingly supportive. Everybody supports each other. Like, it's just been a really nice experience since I've started. So I just wanna, I just wanna, a special thank you to Shay for showing me the love. Like it means a lot to me. And I'm so excited about this. Like she knew exactly what, <laughs> like she knew, she knew my taste. She, apparently she's seen enough of my videos to know what I would like. So we are going to start with this stuff and we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna smell it and all that good stuff and you guys are going to tell me what you think but i i was trying to decide which um which collection to invest in because so far i've just been kind of piecing it together but after doing this i'm pretty sure i'm going with uh glitter bells so you guys can uh you guys can take a peek and tell me if you think that's right but i'm i'm pretty sold on it so far so it is clear. I will say about the smell, um, cause you guys can't smell it. Uh, it's, I mean, any monomer is gonna be kind of strong, but this has kind of a little bit of a citrus smell to it, which kind of takes away from the, the monomer smell, which I like. I'm curious to see it. I, I'm curious to see about the yellowing, but anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm also gonna be reviewing the Nao Nail stuff that she sent me because there's some pretty interesting things in there. There's like one acrylic, um, their monomer, their brush cleaner, uh, their cuticle oil. So we're gonna look, take a look at that stuff too in my next video, but for now let's focus on this. So most of this is the starter kit, which is like the covers and the, um, 
the pinks, the nudes, you know, the peaches, they're clear. So we're gonna go ahead and go through these, but there, she also sent um, Coral Sunrise and Baby Powder, which these are some of the shitter, shimmer ones. <laughs> these are some of the shimmer ones. So we'll save those for last and then we'll, we'll go through these. Um, we'll go through these real quick. Oh Lord, it's gonna be one of those days, so. This one is Glass Slipper, which is their clear. And then we have Snowdrop White. So we're gonna go ahead and do these ones first. Let me go ahead and get these uh, opened up so that we're not we're not going through all that. Then we have Teacher Bell Cover, which is like a, a peach nude cover. Then we have Teacher Bell Soft, which is a slightly lighter, like sheer almost version of that with a little more pink to it. Then we have, let's see what else do we have. We have Pinker Bell cover, which is the pink, uh, kind of like a cover pink. Get some of that out of the way. Then we have Pink Opal, which is like a, a sheer cover pink, kind of, it looks like. And then we have Pinker Bell Sheer, which is a sheer pink, kind of like the one you guys see me use for my ombre and whatnot. So we're going to... We're gonna take a peek at these, and then I have the Coral Sunrise and the Baby Powder, which I already, I just love a good coral. And I tried to get one from Nao Nails Color Matched forever, and I couldn't find anybody that could quite match it. And this is honestly the closest I've ever seen, and it is so bright. It's just, I love it. You can't really see the pink tint to it on camera, but it does have a nice um, pinkish orange. It's not really as orange as it looks. So, without further ado, Let's get started. So I'm gonna do the clear first, that way we can see if there's any yellowing by the time we get to the end. Don't mind my shaky hands, guys, I'm a mess today. It's very cold here today. So I'm gonna say, like, um, first impressions, I love, the, I love the jars, they are absolutely display worthy. The acrylic is super fine, um, the powder very very fine which is part of what makes it what makes acrylic lay so well like the finer it is the easier it lays because the better it soaks up monomer now it's not bubbling very much we're going to let that dry and then we'll top coat the back of it so we can see just how clear it is so we're going to let that go now we're going to do the snowdrop white and i know you guys probably know how hard white is to work with so this is like make or break time here and oh my goodness like it's just white always every time i try to work with white that's why i use my angel white so much because it's one of the only ones i've had that doesn't do it white because of the amount of pigment that it requires is very hard to lay very hard to work with it shows every single mistake that you could possibly make like you got to be on point to work with white that's why i don't work with it that much only as like an accent because <laughs> um, it's very hard to work with this lays super smooth. Um, you're not getting that dry, chunky feeling like you do with a lot of whites, but the pigment didn't separate like it usually does. And it is like paper white, snow white. It's beautiful. And there's no like yellowy, you know what I mean? No blue tint to it. A lot of the whites have that blue tint to try to keep them from yellowing. Okay, now we are on to Peach or Bell cover. Peaches, I've, I've noticed that the peach is kind of what she calls her nudes, uh, Nails by Annabelle. And I just gotta, like, I'm in love with this stuff already. So you guys can see it's kind of, it's just working itself into place. Easiest swatches I've ever done. No separating of the pigment. And that is a gorgeous nude. Love it. Well, peach, whatever you wanna call it. This one is Peacher Bell Soft, which is like a lighter, more fair version of that. And I gotta say the smell for the monomer is not bad at all. Like, not at all. You get used to it pretty quick. Um, there's no, uh, doesn't have that burning feeling that like Mia Secret has. 
You know what I mean? Where it feels like your sinuses are on fire. That's really cool. This stuff just glides right over. No separation. And I love that color. So you can kind of see what I mean here, how this one has more of a peachy tint to the nude and this is a little lighter. So I'm looking at this clear, still no yellowing. It's not quite dry yet, but. All right, next we have Pinkerbell cover and then pink opal. All right, let's check out this Pinkerbell cover. If I get the names confused, forgive me. It beads up amazing, like just bam, full circle. Barely have to touch it. Ooh. I wish I could do these products some justice, but I'm a mess, you know? Oh. I will say too, it's not really sticking to the brush. Like it's not getting my brush all gross. I'm barely having to clean it, so that's really cool. I really like this cover pink. It's very soft. Oh, I didn't finish it. Told you I'm a mess today. It's very soft, and it has kind of a nude tint to it as well. Very little pink. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Now we have Pink Opal. This one I'm pretty excited about because this is the one that MXS Nails used to do her... Um, Rose Quartz, and you guys know how much I love Rose Quartz. So I'm very excited about this one. I got a brush hair in there. Because I need, I've been mixing my own to do Rose Quartz and I would love to not have to do that, you know? Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's like a frosty, frosty pink. using my panna brush because there's the panna brush is great to do swatches with because the beads are so big and I can just boop run it down and be done that is beautiful it's kind of showing up a little orangey on camera so let me it's a very frosty pink I love that that is perfect for rose quartz perfect and you know that's my mission in life is to get the perfect rose quartz <laughs> okay now let's check out this Pinkerbell Sheer. This is like the um, like the sheer pink that I use for my ombre that we were talking about. Um, I I I love these sheer pinks. They do amazing things. Oh, that's nice. It's got a nice raspberry tint to it. Ooh, look at that, and it's not marbling. Holy crap! Like you guys know, all pinks marble always. Like, that's just the rule. But that is gorgeous. It's got like a raspberry sherbet kind of feel to it. I love it. All right, so these last two, the Coral Sunrise and Baby Powder. That is very, <laughs> that's very bright. It is way more pink in person. Let me, let me clarify that. It is super pink, in, not super pink, but it is much more pink than than it looks here. So let me see if I can kind of isolate the color so you guys can get a better idea of, it does have a little shimmer to it. Uh, I'm gonna have trouble with that. Okay, so we'll just do the swatch and I'll hold it over something white so you guys can see. All right, I'm gonna need more monomer. All right, get a little more of the monomer. And like I said, this was just the starter kit, which on their website is about 37 pounds on the Glitter Bells website. Um, you can get it from other distributors, which you can also find the distributors on their website, but the Glitter Bells website has a bigger selection. Um, but on the website, this kit with everything except for these two was 37 pounds, which comes out to about $50 US, which is not bad at all for, what was it, seven colors, um, the monomer, the primer dehydrator, like, that's quite a bit, like, seriously. All right, now let's go ahead and do, I'm going to move these out of the way, except for the clear, because we're not done with that one yet. 
so although it's still not yellowing at all I am gonna top coat it just so you can see exactly how clear it is which it doesn't give you a really good picture of how clear it is but there's only so much you can do with clear on a swatch stick so let's check this out and I didn't burp my brush so I got some bubbles because I'm horrible at my job but so you can see how clear this came. That's without any buffing, no acetone, no filing, and usually the acetone is what helps clear it up. So I'm really impressed with the clear. Let's go ahead and pop that in there to cure it real quick. Okay, now for these other two colors, I want you to be able to see this coral one. That's bothering me. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do the, uh, the baby powder. I'm really impressed for a clear monomer. Usually I've yet to see a clear monomer that didn't yellow because the purple is what keeps it from yellowing. It offsets that, that yellow. And without the purple in it, usually it yellows quite a bit. And this is not yellowing. I don't know how. This is awesome. This is like a shimmery, like uh, princess pink, I wanna say. Like, it's awesome. It's got just a hint of shimmer all through it. Really pretty. Let's see if I can get it to focus on. There we go. So you can kind of see the shimmer. That is gorgeous and I love it. But anyway, now on to this one. I This is super pigmented and gorgeous. It also has just that touch of shimmer like uh, like the baby powder did. And I love the color. So it's still looking pretty orange. You kind of see a little more of the pink there. Let's move this and we'll get this to focus in so you guys can see the shimmer. You can see that shimmer, it is awesome. And you can kind of see a little more of the pink too. There we go, you're getting a hint of the pink there. Anyway, so let's look at that clear now that I've cured it. Beautiful, just gorgeous, I, I love it. See my bubbles, because I'm bad at what I do. Anyway. Um, I gotta say, I am completely in love with it. I will absolutely be investing in this line because it is gorgeous. Look at that white. Like, they all dried pretty, pretty true to color. Like, the color didn't really change as it dried at all. They are lovely. This, though, is killing me. I love it. <laughs> but, anyway, I will put the link in the description. And again, thank you to Shay for turning me on to this, for letting me try it out because I was kind of hesitant. And I am in love. Love, 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 love. Love it. Love it. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching.